Hey everyone, Johnny here with OhioCannabis.com. I'm down in Springfield, Ohio today at Terrasana's fourth location for their grand opening. Uh, they've really been doing a great job and have um, been able to bring some of the most success, I think, to this program by offering patients the best information and education. I'm here with Emily Ramick, the Community uh, Outreach Manager, and Dr. Bill Cadia, one of the owners. How are you guys today? Doing fantastic. Great, doing well. It's the great. weather's beautiful. It's a wonderful day to have our, our grand opening today. Yeah, it really is beautiful, and you know the the facility itself is beautiful. I mean, you guys really need to come out and check these out. Um, tell us a little bit about the patient experience and education that they get here, because I know that it's been a very important element to what you guys do. So that was always been our number one focus is education, because without education, patients aren't going to be repeat customers. They're not going to come back and get you know come back and visit us again. So one of the things that we have done and we've really highly emphasized is that we make sure all our patient consultants are very well versed in all 21 medical conditions and how it impacts patient lives. So when a patient does come in and they have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with our patient consultant, they're able to get the correct information. They're able to understand that product X is going to treat medical condition Y and why why it works and how it works. All of those pieces are very, very important and we strive to make sure that that is the number one takeaway point they, that our patients get when they come to our dispensaries. Absolutely, because here at Terrasana too, we're passionate about our patients, we're passionate about our education, um, and so especially when patients come into one of our shops, you can expect to have that one-on-one -on -one consultation with each one of our patient consultants that, you know, as uh, Dr. Katie has said, they're all well-versed in all the conditions and be able to help you best navigate our menu and the different products that we have. Yeah, you know, it is so important because a lot of the people, from my experience, are actually in an older demographic of 50 and above, so a lot of these people just don't have the up-to-date knowledge that a lot of the street kids if you will sure. have had over the last decade or two and you know everyone's really looking for that it's so important that they understand the medicine that they're taking and it's going to treat X ailment and they want to see that consistency they want to be able to come back to the same place talk to the same person they talked to the last time and just explore you know more avenues for for better treatments for them now, you guys have um, specifically only, uh, you're dealing with certain cultivators. You're not keeping all the medicine from every cultivator because you guys are really trying to provide not only the best patient experience, but the best patient products. Absolutely. And that, uh, there's two points to that. First and foremost, we want to get patients the best medication we can possibly get our hands on at the best price. So if you can't do that, if you can only provide you know, X, Y, and Z product that may or may not help, then patients have wasted their money and they've wasted their time. And that, you've given them a sense of false hope. And that's not what we're about. I would rather only carry one or two products if, because I know those two products work. I don't want to carry 30 products that may or may not work. So that is more important to me as a physician more than anything. You know, going back to that education piece, I'll tell you something that, you know, being 20 years as a primary care physician in, in the state, one of the things that we try to do in our practice is to educate patients because at the end of the day, if the patient doesn't understand what you're doing and why they're taking a medication, guess what happens? They don't take it. So it's the same thing here. If we don't have effective medication, if we don't have it at a price that a patient can afford, and if we don't educate them as to how it works and why it works, they're not going to come back and they're not going to use that medication. So what's the point? Or they're going to use it incorrectly, not have the proper experience, and then say, you know what, this just isn't for me. Correct. Absolutely, and, and especially, too, with all of our, our new patients and returning patients, we do offer a private consultation room um, for patients that do have those questions that would prefer more of a, a private area, a private space, to be able to consult with one of, one of our uh, consultants. And that's just when the patients come into the facility, but now Terrasana is starting to put on uh, Terra Talks Absolutely. and uh, educational uh, meetups basically throughout the state of Ohio. It's a new program and hopefully looking to expand that. Can you talk a little bit more um, about why you guys want to do that? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So we are set up pretty spread out pretty evenly geographically throughout Ohio and you know a lot of um, the events are kind of centralized between Columbus and Cleveland. So one of the important things here at Terrasana is what we're trying to do is kind of broaden that education and really kind of close these communication gaps between like the cultivators and the dispensaries. Um, really trying to bring these cultivators out to help educate in the basics of cultivating um, so that way these patients know you know the quality where they're getting their medicine from and really put the faces behind um, where their medicine is coming from so that's one of the main things we're going to try and do with this new educational series that we're doing and then with our Terra Talks we've kind of started off in Fremont but we will be doing those um, geographically as well at each of our locations. 
You know, and I think that's something that patients are going to, you know, they're free events. Everyone can come out to them, and it just gives you a chance to talk to the people at Terrasana. The, the last one they had, somebody from Fireland, Scientific it was. Mm -hmm. And it's just interesting to hear these, these growers and these cultivators talk about their process and, and see, you know, which um, nutrients they might be using or how they are actually doing post-harvest and why they're curing it a certain way to bring you guys the best products. I was in there a little bit ago and doing a, a nice sniff test on, on the various products that they have and um, every one of them had a had a great smell to them which the terpene profile is so so important um, one of them smelled very fruity and, and gassy which is uh, some good elements and um, being a being a doctor you know the, the terpene profile is extremely important to patients isn't it absolutely and I think at the end of the day we're gonna find that that is actually the more uh, active compound that provides more benefit when you combine it with the right CBD THC concentration you know, when you look at specific terpenes and how they affect your body, and mind you, you don't find terpenes just in cannabis. They're actually found in every plant material on earth. You look at an orange, it has citronelle. It has that terpene, citronelle terpene to it that has anti-inflammatory properties, which is why when you drink lemon juice mixed with water, it's really good for you. You feel better. So similarly, when you have these different terpene profiles, and we can, the grower specifically can now dial the genetics to kind of enhance certain terpenes, that is where I view the future of cannabis as a medicine. Yeah, that's, that's a great point. And, you know, I think another big thing that, that patients are talking about is the, the price point. You know, obviously everyone wants to get it down as low as they can. I'll tell you guys that um, from the dispensary's perspective, you know, they're at the highest tax bracket they can. They're, they're trying to offer products that um, are not only top quality, but the most affordable. You know, they want you guys to come back. They want you guys to, to be re repeat customers with them, not only from the experience, but from, you know, the prices. And I think that it's something that they're aware of. I know everyone's, uh, you know, trying to really hammer down that the price has to come down, but I think it's just gonna take time to really see everything ultra affordable, don't you guys? Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the most important things here, um, just about Terrasana specifically, is that we're so passionate about our educational programming and just really making sure that every single that patient that comes into our store, they're properly educated on what's going to help them. Um, we'll, we really come from a very compassionate standpoint. We're really trying just to work with everybody um, on their healing journey as a patient. Yeah, I think you guys are the only ones offering these educational programs, so mm -hmm. kudos to you guys. Thank you. One thing I did want to mention about the price, Part of the problem is that you have a limited number of growers, right? So you don't have a ton of choices of where you can buy from. So if you have 10 active growers, they can pretty much demand any price they want because at the end of the day, we need to provide medication to patients. So if people are truly interested in driving down price, start talking to your state representatives and get them to expand the program to allow more people to have licenses to grow. That is the surest way to drive down price. Absolutely. Yeah, and you know, you, you, you know, we only have I think ten or twelve cultivators that even have products in the market. And let's be honest, they're not all that good. You know, not all of them are putting out good quality products to where they can be proud of them. And, and they're aware of this, and they're trying to fix it. This is it's a time game. There's going to be you know, it's going to take some time to really get all this ironed out. But like I said, your your buyers, uh, your your main bud tender and manager, he seems to really be passionate about viewing the different cultivation facilities, talking to the growers, making sure that you guys are getting the best medicine that you can get. Absolutely, he's done a fantastic job. And again, going back to that, we would rather have fewer products that actually work and that are quality products than carrying everything that's available. Absolutely. You know, we've put together such a great team, I think, between um, just the co-founders, um, our general managers, just each store location. You know, we just have a really good group of really passionate um, people coming together and doing what's best for our patients here in Ohio. Yeah, and I think, like I said, I can't say it enough, you guys have done one of the best jobs in the industry to help propel this industry forward. I know there's a lot of controversy going on right now with a few of the um, license holders that they may be in question of whether they um, had a proper application. And I think you guys from the get-go have been very transparent and correct with the way that you fill out your application and have been doing business. Absolutely. I mean, it's what's the point of doing this if you're going to do it the right way? You know, you're just asking for trouble. And now we're seeing the evidence of that. We're seeing two groups that are potentially in significant, you know, are having significant issues with the state, such that they may end up losing their licenses. So again, you're now denying access to patients because you're, we're already in a limited environment in terms of where patients can go, where they can buy product from. And now you're going to cut that number even more. So it's not fair to the program and it's not fair to the patients of the state of Ohio. 
my viewpoint has always been, again, it's going back to my medical training. You do things the one way, you do it the same way, you do it the correct way every single time. You then satisfy patients and you make sure that you can't get in any trouble. Unfortunately, you know, people have decided to take some shortcuts and do things that they shouldn't have done. And there's always a price to pay for that. And I think that's one of the most important things to highlight um, and what De Dr. Katie had just said is that we are trying to be as transparent as possible um, and do what's best for our patients because at the end of the day, that's what this whole program is for. Yeah, and I think, you know, like you said, that you guys have figured out a process and you've replicated time and time again. I mean, to have four dispensaries open within just a few months of each other is such a feat that I don't, people don't appreciate it, I, I think, uh, for the most part, because they just don't see a lot of what happens behind the scenes. And um, like I said, you guys have been um, trendsetters here in Ohio, and you're going to continue to be that. I mean, between the Terra Talks and everything else, you guys are only trying to do the best you can uh, you know, by this program, and you're going to continue to push forward and make it the best that it can be. Absolutely. And again, at the end of the day, our mission is to help people. We're not doing this for any other reason than to help people, to help patients. And if we can't do that, then we shouldn't be here. I agree. All right, guys. Well, you know, I really appreciate you having me out here. Uh, like I said, it's a beautiful facility. Come out and check out one of them. Uh, they have four, uh, Columbus, uh, which is Grandview. Absolutely. They have yep. uh, Cleveland, which would be Garfield Heights, Springfield, and then and Fremont. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, go ahead and check it out. You guys do have a website with some inf limited information on it, but it does have some information. What's that website? We do. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It, it's terrasoniccannabisco.com. And then we do try and update our menus on there um, daily, um, but we are um, providing a link there here shortly to Weed Maps, which will then give us real-time data and real-time menu updates and that sort of thing. Um, we're also on Facebook, so we try and post you know, what we can um, as far as updates and that sort of thing as well. Yeah, and you know, I'm going to be making sure I post all their educational talks up on my website under the events section as I as much as I can, um, because it's just important to get you guys out here to talk to these people, um, to whether you're a patient or you're thinking about being a patient. Uh, just come out and talk. These are great events. They a lot of times provide refreshments and just good education and information. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, thanks again, and appreciate your help. Thank, Thank you, Johnny. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks.